brought to you by Digital Cinema Network Australia. Installing, supporting and monitoring over 85 sites and growing fast, DCN is a leading cinema integrator. Go to www.dcnaustralia.com.au Hello Cinema Tech Geeks, here we are at Barco with Andrew uh, and you are the Product Manager for North America. Uh, and they have some very interesting announcements, of course. This is the year of the Series 2 of the projectors for DCI. And Barco are very happy to announce that they have the first, first projector which has been DCI certified. So, Andrew, can you tell us about that and also some of the features of, of your, your projectors, please? Uh, just to clarify, we passed the fully compliance uh, test, uh, which is very rigorously to the DCI requirements, which is very exciting for us announce at this show. Also, the exciting is that we're showing the brand new product line, 0.98 family and 1.2 inch family. Uh, all those units are fully DCI compliant. Uh, in process right now. Uh, the more majority of the interesting components in the system are that the, this is all based for on Series 2 electronics which uh, you know allows us to do it. Uh, we had very good success with uh, modularity of our equipment in past so we further designed that in mind. Our 098 has got the all new le electronics inside and all of the new improved optics as well as power supplies. Same we did with the 1.2 inch which is no longer as it used to be DP3000, but it's actually completely redesigned, ground up, uh, new design. Um, interesting aspects are what we did with this platform is to simplify maintenance and operations. All units have, uh, you know, toolless. Uh, Convergence, so you don't need to require any tools to do convergence. All our projectors have the patented uh, sealed engine, patented cooling, as well as patented convergence mechanism. Um, I also, also notice here that um, so this is where the what they call the internal media block would go if you have these new 4K. So, from my understanding, to go 4K you have to have an internal media block, but if you're not 4K, an external media block is just as good, or etc. So this is, uh, of course, um, going to an external media block. And over here we have... Uh, a couple of boards from uh, Doremi as well as GDC, and media blocks uh, which test were tested with our equipment. And you point out the good, uh, important fact, that if you're planning to be on 2K, you don't need media block inside. It's only requirement for 4K because of the bandwidth requirement. So if with these projectors, until 4K comes along, the internal media block really doesn't add anything to the equation. Exactly. But it could be something valuable to think if you're planning to buy equipment, which you are sure you want to upgrade it, it might be worthwhile to look at it if buying already media block ready for this. I'd also like to, to point out something you showed me just now, that this is actually your biggest biggest projector, isn't it? Yep, that's our flagship 32B. This is your flagship. And if you notice anything, there's no rectifier externally to the projector. It's actually all in the rear here. So tell us about how this power system works in the rear of the projector. Um, there's another something uh, unique to Barco. Uh, we have uh, basically redesigned power supplies to further uh, improve the uptime serviceability. We basically contain three power supplies into this one. They're separate modules, independent, and uh, the very interesting part is that allows you to basically you move those modules across any of those projectors. So if you need to get up to uptime and change the power supply, you can borrow that power supply from any one of our projectors install it. So basically what you're saying is if one of the power supplies fails, it doesn't actually pull the projector out. No. And then if you've got a projector that doesn't need all its supplies, you just go bang, bang, and you've got this back up to full strength. Absolutely. So there's two things, you know, uptime where it's uh, basically full redundancy that if one power supply is, the other two are being boosted to the level to keep the light on the screen. And then, you know, modularity, which you can then exchange those power supplies with different units if you don't have, you know, use. For example, if this unit is running 2D, obviously you would be not running three power supplies, but you have other screen which is need of the power supply then you can borrow that one and put it in another one and also um, you were showing me before you've got this new um Diagnostic screen specifically diagnostic, for the operator? Yeah, we can look at this diagnostic companion is basically additional tool to help uh, service our equipment. So you instead of just showing errors and 
operator is wondering what the problem is, he actually, based on error, can click on an icon, which will get him st through steps, visual steps, how to troubleshoot, and uh, points directly into the you know points where the problem occurs. So, so before you're showing me when a problem occurs, it'll actually come up here with a picture on the screen directing you to exactly where you should be looking and what you most likely have to rectify in the projector. So that was very impressive. So it must have a lot of work must have gone into it, your it trainers is. and your documentation people. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's a lot of plus talking to our field service engineers to find out what really the steps they're taking to troubleshoot it, what really to make sure that uh, the steps you you know take are absolutely giving you the shortest amount of time to, to diagnose and repair it. Also, the, there's another part which is basically once you diagnose which board or part is at fault, you'll be pulled up with the part number so you know right away which part number to order from us. Well, that's, that's really, that's very impressive. I'm very, that's very impressive. Um, is there anything else you want to show us before we go? Um, the one thing I want to make sure clear that the, all of those units right now are self-contained. There is no separate power supplies, as I mentioned. They're all integrated in the system. So this is something new we're doing. It's the same form factor as it was actually slightly smaller than our 3000. So this is very exciting that we got all this, everything put in one system. Right, thank you very much. Andrew, it's good to meet you and it uh, looks, looks like obviously Barco is forging ahead with all this new technology and uh, I really appreciate the time. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching Cinematech Geek. Bye for now.